If you want to learn how to finger pick, uh, a very good jumping off point is Travis picking. Travis picking, um, there's a couple different variations of it, but to start, I recommend using your thumb, your index finger, and your middle finger on your right hand. Um, I'm gonna take a G chord. I'm not moving it, I'm just gonna stick on G just to show you the pattern. Um, so what you wanna do is take your, your middle finger and your thumb, and since we're only using the G string, oops, the D string, the A string, and the E string, you wanna go on, your, on the G string and the E string using your middle finger and your thumb pluck them at the same exact time. That would be part one of Travis picking. Part two is to go, you take your thumb and your index finger and you go. So I'm just hitting with my thumb and my index finger, I'm hitting the A string and then the D string. So that's part one and two and those together sound like this. And then the final part of Travis picking is to um, take your thumb, hit the sixth string, and then take your middle finger and hit the fourth string, and then take your index finger into the third string. Now if you put all three of those parts together, you have Travis picking. So it sounds like this. I'll play it slowly for you. And then if you play it faster, you know, it sounds like you're legitimately finger picking, which you are. And then of course, once you learn that, you know, you can, you can figure out different chords to use. Um, you can essentially use any chord you want. Um, it will involve moving around. For example, let me just show you. If, if you play an A minor chord, you know, the E string isn't, you don't really want it in there unless you're trying to put you know, you're trying to build other kind of voicings for chords. But most likely you're just going to want to shift everything up. So instead of using the E string, you kind of move the whole pattern up one. So your A will be your root. So it would sound like this. So when I'm doing that, all I'm doing is plucking. I've, I've literally taken the G pattern that I showed you. I've shifted everything down one, so it looks like this. And then, you know, if you do it for D, you would shift again. So that the root is on that, on that string, on the D string. Um, 